I'm heading back out to the trail today. I'm taking some fresh fruit. I'm putting a pair of my backpacker mug so it doesn't get squished, a banana, and some sliced strawberries. Oh, I also have an apple in my bear can and a bagel um, that I'll use with the apple and peanut butter for lunch. I'm going to eat the avocado this morning along with another bagel and some other form of protein, probably eggs. Hi, I'm back to the trail. It just got dropped off and uh, yeah, it feels weird to be back. Not sure what the weather's going to do today. I'm getting better at not worrying about the rain. I have my new raincoat, so that's helpful. And 10 miles to the first shelter. So depending on the weather and how I feel, I'll decide where I go from there. Everything is wet, so it did rain here overnight. It's a bit slippy. I'm sure this bridge is very slippery. But it has some guardrails to hold on to, which is nice. The next 10 miles to the shelter are up. But you never know what that's going to look like. So there could be switchbacks, there could be staircases, there can be some rolling up and down. Just don't know. What I do know is look at this. Holy smokes. All the mountain in the world. Just covering the trail. So far, it's been really nice hiking weather. It's not too hot and it's not raining. It's just the water falling out of the trees. So the clouds, I think, are keeping it cool and the temperature, I don't know what it is, but it's comfortable. And the elevation has been very mild. I've been thinking a lot about you know, when you stop searching for something, that's when it shows up, right? And when you let go of an idea of something, sometimes that's when it arises. And so thinking that my raincoat was not going to be here until Saturday and being okay with just using the emergency poncho and letting go of the idea of being dry and then it showed up last night anyway. It's just weird. It's, I had, I had let go and it arrived. And this letting go or non-attachment to desires or desired outcome is the practice of yoga. And speaking of yoga, I did get my practice in this morning and having that a little bit more consistent, I think is helping with my physical um, presence <laughs> and maybe even with my ability to do more miles. The incline, the grade has changed. I'm now hot <laughs> and breathing a little heavy. Nine miles to the shelter where I will stop for lunch. I love how the Spiderweb has caught the water droplets from the rain. The rain is coming. And uh, since I'm already sweating my butt off and I'm wet, I thought I'd try this emergency poncho thing and see what it's like to hike in it. I have it wrapped around my shoulders. I'll pull it down if the rain gets heavy. It's been thundering out quite a bit. So, so we'll see. I am gonna put my phone away and put it in a Ziploc uh, just in case. It's been raining most of the morning, but it's starting to clear up. 
and all the views have been foggy, but I can start to just see things through the trees. I'm not sure how far I am away from that first shelter and lunch, but I'm ready to eat, so hopefully it's not too far. I, st I think I'm only halfway. I think I still have another four or five miles to go, but it's been a good morning. This emergency rain poncho has been amazing. I'm not dry, but I'm not wet and I'm not hot. So it's a thumbs up for a warm weather, kind of light rain and not heavy winds. The sun keeps trying to peek out. Still hazy, still dripping. Looks like <laughs> a jungle. Well, not necessarily a jungle, but plants are super tall. Looks like nettle, overgrown nettle. I'm glad it is not in the trail. Not sure how far I have to go, but I'm ready for lunch. This is the exact spot. Little Audie Klein Powell's body was found April 5th, 1891, after straying from Tower Hill Schoolhouse, November 9th, a distance of seven miles, aged four years, 11 months. I'm headed down now. Wasn't much of a view. Still socked in. I think that was it. That was the big climb for the day. And now I'll head to the shelter, have some lunch, and then it's relatively, um, well, there's no real elevation gain, but I'm sure it's up and down as it usually is. Sun seems to be making its way out as I make my way down to the shelter. It's given me lots of time to think this morning. Lots of thoughts now that I'm back on trail. And the one that comes to my mind quite often is the question that I've been asked about, am I looking to find myself on the trail? Am I trying to discover, you know, who I am? And the truth is, or the answer is, no. You know, I've spent the last 50 years uncovering who I think I might be, and I'm not looking for myself. In fact, I was once told that we have the opportunity every day to reinvent ourselves, and I, I really love that because what I have found in the last 50 some years is that there are so many me's to be. I, there's you know, different aspects of myself and some of them contradict each other. And I, you know, I couldn't possibly be them all, all the time. And so part of my journey, my adventure, and not just on trail, but in life is to decide in the moment who I might like to be, which part of me do I want to be? And the wonderful opportunity of reinventing myself means that I can you know, have a lot of grace because if yesterday wasn't so good, then I just reinvent and I do it differently. I get a do over today because I get to choose the me I want to be. Had a delicious lunch, fresh strawberries, banana, almond butter on a wrap, 
as I had that protein shake that I have been using, which I think is helpful. And I got news on my raincoat. So my raincoat was last seen at a shelter two miles south of where I started today. <laughs> Chances that it'll still be there and all the things are very, very, very uh, low. <laughs> but it's fun just to hear the stories and to kind of track it. Most likely it'll be picked up by a day hiker and taken home. But it'd be really cool. It would be magic if it made it to me. Well, that was the 800 mile mark. Pretty crazy. <laughs> 800 miles, can't believe it. Cannot believe I've walked 800 miles and through Georgia and Tennessee and North Carolina and Virginia, like, wow. Just got hit with more rain <laughs> and I'm loving this emergency poncho thing. It's so lightweight, it's easy to get on, covers my pack. This one does not, um, it's kind of connected almost like um, a trash bag. So it doesn't flap in the wind, I just like it but it's super thin and I ran into some pricker bushes and I'm afraid it's gonna get snagged. I don't have a Costco membership. It's Kirkland um, Emergency Poncho. So if anybody out there does have a Costco membership and wants to grab one for me and send it to my house to have as a backup, that'd be super awesome. I really love walking through the pine forests. The path is so cushiony, the smell is delicious. And this one is lined with beautiful mountain laurel. Rain and sun and rain and sun. That seems to be the theme for the day. Oh, <laughs> Lots of blue skies, some clouds, and then over behind me, not looking good. So we'll see. I've got close to 16 miles in, I think, and uh, aiming for 20 today. We'll see how that goes. Just took a little mini bird bath in the creek. It is hot and humid, and I have two and a half miles left to go. It's about 4.30. So maybe be there between five and six, 5.30 and six, most likely. I am ready to sit down. Eight years ago today, my husband died. And that's been on my mind today, as you can imagine. It feels like a lifetime ago. I've mostly been thinking about my kids. And uh, I was so grateful to be able to check in with both of them yesterday so that we could have that time But I've also been just pondering a lot of things. You know, the fact that any of us could be gone at any moment, nothing is guaranteed. The importance of living in the moment and not taking things for granted and living in a place of gratitude, just savoring life. I've told my kids that I don't want today to be a sad day. I want it to be, I don't know, just a day to 
I mean, it's obviously a day I'll remember, but maybe it's a day to be grateful, to be alive. Well, it looks like I'll be crossing on these rocks. It's been a good day. I got the 20 miles in, it went by fast, which is new for me. And uh, so I like that. And I'm going to bed, I'm tired. I have a shorter day tomorrow just a little more than 10 and I plan on sleeping in see how it goes <laughs>